what I'm going to demonstrate to you today is the <laughs> loading and firing of a flintlock rifle. This was used during the 1700s. And this particular model is a model 1795 Springfield. This is based off the Charleville rifle, which we used during the Revolutionary War. This particular model was taken on the Lewis and Clark Expedition. The Lewis and Clark Expedition was a United States Army expedition, and this was a United States Army issued weapon at the time. So this is what they took as one of their weapons. This whole weapon works off of a rock. Without this rock, this thing wouldn't work. It's a flint and steel. I've seen people make fire with flint and steel. Same idea. This piece of flint, it's this steel, makes a spark, sets off powder, and causes an explosion in the barrel, which fires the weapon. This is called a frizzin. So when the flint hits the frizzin, It'll flip up like this and cause that spark. And this little pan here has powder in it. Now, imagine y'all watch TV. You've seen Revolutionary War movies or anything like that. Where they got the powder horn. They'll sit there and take this powder horn and pour it down the barrel. No. <laughs> this is a hang -up. This is full of gunpowder. If I pour this down the barrel, there's a spark in there from the last time I fired. I've just blown all of us up. So what we do is we use a powder measure. So when I pour the powder in there from the measure, if it goes off, I'll probably get a black face and a couple of burns, but I haven't killed it. This has 100 grains of powder. So what I'll do is, first I want to show you something. We have several sayings we use today that are based off of this type of <coughs> weapon. Uh, back when these were being built, you could build one yourself if you wanted to. You can get it piecemeal. You could buy the barrel. You could buy the stock. You could buy the lock. You put it all together. But if you wanted it all at one time, you say, I want it lock, stock, and barrel. How many times have you heard that? Okay. All right, here's another one. Going off half cocked. You cock the hammer back, first click. That's half cocked. If I pull this trigger, it should not go off. It's not going off. If it does go off, it wasn't intended to. What does going off half cock mean? You didn't intend for it to happen. That's what going off half cock comes from. Now I'm gonna take some powder. There's nothing in the barrel, so there's not gonna be a big boom. I'll put some powder in the uh, pan. Close the pan with a full cock. When I fire this, uh-oh, it didn't go off. What happened? Flash in the pan. That's where that comes from. What's a flash in the pan? Nothing. So nothing just happened. All right. So again, when I go to load this, I'm gonna take my powder measure. <laughs> powder in here, it's pulled to the top, and pour it in. And in my bag, I would have a ball. Put the ball in there, take out the ramrod, shove it down, cram the ball all the way down in to the barrel, pressing the gunpowder into the bottom of the barrel. If I was really good, I could fire this weapon three times in one minute. Nowadays, you got weapons of five over 3,000 times in less than a minute. Okay, so we got the powder, the ball in the barrel. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go to full cock. Hopefully it'll fire. These weapons are very unreliable, especially when it got wet. It started raining, forget it. When I fire this, it's gonna smell like someone farted out here. <laughs> because gunpowder is made out of what? Sulfur, saltpeter, and charcoal. Iron hole! There you go. So, if I was really good, 
three times in one minute. So I know that's kind of quick. It was at the speed of light, you couldn't see it all, so I'll do it again for you. <laughs> <laughs> now I just fired it. If there's a spark in there, we're fixing to have a problem. Good. Half cock. Full cock. Get a little bit of a delay in that one. If I was good, three times in a minute. Now these would foul real easy. You can see how it's starting to look white around there. That's all the powder doing that. So I've got this brush. I can sit there and get all the powder out. Ooh, that stunk. Uh, then I got this pick. <coughs> Make sure that pick hole stays open. Otherwise it won't fire. We had a demonstration earlier I had my partner here with me. Every time he fired, it was flashing the pan, flashing the pan, flashing the pan. I finally just called him a Brit. <laughs> and got through with him. <laughs> but anyway, any questions? And uh, the leather thing hanging down, is that your safety? Uh, off of, off this, this is the prison protector. Okay. Could be a safety. Yeah. This is your safety right here. You don't want to fire, don't put your finger in it.